Hello to our fans online. I'm Ryan Smith. And I'm Marcy Gonzalez with the top stories on this Monday, February 17th. Breaking news from Switzerland, an Ethiopian airline 767 is safe on the runway at the Geneva airport after an attempted hijacking. Swiss authorities say one man has been taken into custody. The drama apparently began in the skies over Sudan when the pilot sent the emergency signal that the plane was being hijacked. No one was hurt. The plane's original destination was Rome, and now the airline is working to get all of the passengers to Rome. The latest nor'easter to hit New England dumped more than a foot of snow on parts of Massachusetts. 15 inches of snow was reported in the town of Sandwich on Cape Cod. At one point, the snow was falling at a rate of two to three inches an hour. Wind gusts up to 50 miles an hour knocked out power to thousands on the Cape. Another so storm is sweeping across the country this week. Sheriff's deputies in Northern California have successfully incinerated a mobile home full of explosives they say posed a threat. 60 pounds of gunpowder, primers for firearms, cartridges, and other materials were found in the home this month. Neighbors were ordered out of their homes until the danger passed. Authorities found the combustible material after responding to an explosion at the home that took off a man's hand. The injured resident said he was making fuel for model rockets. And a 54-year-old man from Springfield, Missouri, sunk a three-point shot during halftime at the College of the Ozarks. But what makes that so remarkable, that he is blind. Michael Quinn's shot is the culmination of a story that started six years ago when he suffered a series of falls. Quinn eventually went blind and lost much of his mental capacity. But last year, he joined the champion of the Ozarks, champion athletes of the Ozarks, which uses sports training to build coordination and self-esteem of people with disabilities. And clearly, Michael Quinn is one of their shining stars. Incredible. Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Ryan Smith. And I'm Marcy Gonzalez. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Choose ABC News, America's number one news source.